Hi guys, uh, Gigi here. It has been a long time since I made my last video. Um, I've been busy with some other projects and other things. Uh, life doesn't stop. Uh, but today uh, I'm going to uh, start uh, remaking the, the videos for you and come with um, fresh content based uh, on your questions, based on your uh, emails and, and so on. The most common uh, questions you guys are sending me it's uh, how do I clone or how do I uh, program the new uh, mechatronic on my on my car uh, I've showed you how to to do it uh, physically and uh, mechanically and uh, I'm going to show you now how you actually do it uh, in the software uh, <clears throat> because maybe the unit uh, will fit and uh, physically you can just move the unit uh, between two cars and so on but uh, the software does not always uh, fit your car so let's say you have a Volkswagen Passat and you buy a used and used unit uh, for, uh, to install in your car um, it will fit in the car the problem is the software does not always fit <clears throat> so for example if the mechatronic unit comes from a Golf uh, or from a Seat or some other car um, the software is not always the same uh, so you will need to reprogram the, the, the new unit uh, to fit to your car not reprogram in with the VCDS because VCDS can only make coding on the unit uh, you will need to actually put a software that fits to your car uh, you might be lucky that the unit you get it's the same hardware type uh, and it has the same software or a compatible software with uh, with your car but most of the cases the unit will come from a different car with a different software from a different type of gearbox uh, with uh, different gearing in, in the inside the gearbox and then uh, the, the, the gearbox will not change as it should or maybe you cannot perform basic settings or, or stuff like that so you will need to put the correct software in the, into that unit and that is not possible with the VCDS you will need some special software to do that the most basic uh, tool uh, it's the bus head um, that can be used to, together with Oris uh, that will help you flash the, the correct software uh, to your vehicle if um, you go a little bit further uh, or let's say you have um, an Audi uh, with a uh, mechatronic unit that has uh, immobilizer on the unit then it will not be enough to just flash the same software on that unit because then you will have an immobilizer problem and your car will not start so you can uh, put the software into, into the unit but the car will not start um, in that case you will need to move all the data from the old mechatronic, the EEPROM and the flash to the new unit. <coughs> so you will move the, move the EEPROM that contains the immobilizer data and then the flash that it's the software. Uh, and uh, for that you will need some other tools. Uh, something like uh, <coughs> the most uh, inexpensive uh, tool today is the PCM flash. Legit uh, software. Now we are talking about legitimate softwares uh, and, and, and hardware. Um, you can use uh, that for, for the cloning purposes and that's the most uh, inexpensive tool you can use uh, these days uh, the Chinese made a copy um, KTM flash I think it's called I don't know I never tested I don't know how, what the possibilities are with that tool um, another possibility it's uh, TCU manager from uh, Magic Motorsport but that's quite expensive solution for somebody that wants to just make one operation one move today I'm going to show you uh, the options you have for a DQ200 uh, uh, the 0CW unit that has immobilizer on it uh, and how to do that one with the PCM flash and um, these operations can be if you have a unit with immobilizer on it can only be done with uh, with uh, with a tool that is also able to copy the EPRO if not, you have an option to make the unit virgin if you do not uh, want to, to copy the information but again you will need to write the EEPROM uh, virgin EEPROM uh, that will let you adapt the new unit to, to your car using uh, online uh, Gigo 
uh, not everybody has access to Gigo, um, <coughs> so it's another uh, two sides, uh, you know, good and, and, and bad. So if you decide to uh, to make a, a clone or to flash a unit, uh, you will need uh, some special tools. You will need a PC, a computer, you will need uh, the hardware for the PCM flash and an interface that works with the PCM flash. It can be uh, passed through any, I think it works with the three or four pass through uh, interfaces. Um, of course you need some cables and connectors and the power supply. So I will go to the uh, computer now and then uh, I will uh, show you, uh, before I go to the computer I will show you what, what hardware you need to, to, to make the operation. So uh, this is my setup, I have the Tactrix open port interface, the dongle for the PCM flash, I put a wire on it so I don't lose it because it's uh, if it's very small. Then I have the DQ200 connector, is it here? Um, as I do many of these units I bought a special cable uh, because uh, I need it. Um, many times um, and I bought this from the chiptuningshop.com uh, the service is very good very fast very reliable uh, the same cable so it's a uh, power cable and the uh, OBD connector on the other side so these two connect together this you put on the battery or uh, on some uh, power supply you have I have here power supply and this is the, the unit and then from the PC you will just need a, a standard uh, mini USB USB cable connected to the to the tactics this is now connected and we are going to uh, connect this to the OBD end. Yeah, uh, the reading operation for the DQ200, uh, DQ250, FSXX models and, and so long cannot be done via OBD port. So you cannot read this unit uh, by the OBD port. You have to make a direct connection to the, to the mechatronic unit using a connector, special connector or just wires with, uh, with uh, some cable shoes and then you just plug it in. So this is the, the hardware part and uh, you know, uh, also for, for the units without uh, immobilizer you can use uh, uh, in the copy process you can use the CAS Yes, also can read the, most of the, the Volkswagen Audi gearboxes, but only the flash part. Uh, you can use also, I have used uh, in the past, and I still use for the DSG-6 uh, 250, I use the SPI wizard from... Uh, um, oh, what's the name? Freeling, Freeling uh, Racing. That's a very good and very stable tool. Uh, it was cheap at that time because there was no other alternatives. Uh, many years back when, when I started this. And uh, so I will uh, now swap to the, to the PC and, uh, and show you the, the operation, the actual operation. Uh, just, just for the sake of it, I've uh, connected the VCDS. Uh, so we can see the unit that I have on the, on the bench. So we can see here the software number 0CW30044S and the software version number is 4506 uh, if we go to the advanced ID I can see the hardware number here and I can see this unit it's coded to this car so this unit has an immobilizer on it this unit cannot be just simply moved from one car to another because uh, it has the immobilizer part on it. So this is how it looks on a, on a zero CW unit. 
and coding it's 14 on this one when you install another unit in this car you will have to to put the same coding uh, 14 okay um, this is how the unit looks uh, on the VCDS so now I've connected uh, PC and flash and I am going to choose DQ200 and QB boot EEPROM uh, first I will read the unit let's say read uh, it will ask me if I want to use the power control L line. No, and then it will tell me to power on the ECU. Uh, so I turn on the power. Make some verifications, and then uh, it will start uh, reading. This is the EEPROM part, and then I will show you how this EEPROM looks like. Uh, after we turn the power off done and we save the file and we save the file we say uh, EEPROM 0 CW test ok I'm going to read the micro flash Turn the power on, and it looks like it is in the register. So I will say cancel. Turn the power off, and ah, I choose the wrong DQ200 microboot. Read. No power control. So it's important to choose the right ECU. Turn the power on. It got it. Security checks, verification, it will read the file. As you can see, this tool is pretty fast. Turn off the power and we are done. I'm going to see, I will save it here and say um, flash 0CV test. And it saved. So now when we uh, we want to make another unit, we'll just uh, flash this information into, into the new uh, unit. Let's say we change the unit and I want to make a clone. I will take the flash. So I choose the correct one here, micro and the flash. And then I say, if you have a clone, uh, cloning operation, you don't need to check this verify uh, CRC. You say right do you want to make a clone yes checksums are correct yes no power line control no and turn it on writing complete turn the power off power off okay Done. So you have cloned your 0CW unit. Now, uh, now for the DQ250, the different hardware models, uh, different firmware models. Uh, as you can see here, I have a 02E927770AL unit. This is an FXX firmware, and you can see it here. F10. Uh, if we go to another unit, here I have another one, 02E AD. This is a CXX hardware. So if you want to change the software from the to move the, uh, let's say you replace a, a CXX unit with an FXX unit, it's not possible to just swap it over and move the software so never try and attempt to move the software from an cx6 to an fx6 unit you will damage the unit uh, and you have a non-working unit so if you want to change the software let's see this is the the software number uh, the software name 023052h and the version is 2208 on this uh, fx6 unit 
on this one on the CX6 uh, with the Motorola it's 0230042T1118 so let's say your car was uh, driving with the uh, with this unit and you want to replace it with the F uh, XX unit with the Infineon you will not be able to just move the software from this one to the other one you will need to find the compatible software for your car so it's not just pos it's, it's not possible to just move the software from from one unit to another if the hardware is not the same so in order to move this software to another unit your lot number must be the same or C it can be C20 C30 but it has to be a CXX the same for the F if you have an uh, F XX unit it's not backward compatible with the CXX so you cannot just take the software and move it as you as you please you need to have a compatible hardware this is another issue so all these things uh, are not possible uh, to be done with the uh, with the VCDS VCDS is just coding the unit to your car so if you guys want to swap units you will need some um, some more hardware than the VCDS also if you want to make a remap on on your car you will also need to have uh, some something better like PCM flash or CAS or, or something that can read the software out of the unit and uh, to be programmed of course uh, if you have an Otis and you are able to flash uh, FRF and SGO files uh, then probably yes I can find the the right software modified for you and then pack the software into an SGO and FRF or FRF file and send it over so you can flash it with an Otis uh, that's possible so now you see that in order to actually program the unit you will need something more than the VCDS uh, it costs some money yes uh, if you do not have the tool and you do not have the skills, just uh, try to find the local uh, tuning company. They usually have these tools and uh, can help you swap from from uh, software from one unit to another, or make uh, a read or or whatever you need to to have done. And probably the cost of that it's uh, it's less than buying yourself the the, the hardware and the software you need. Uh, if you need. Uh, special software for for car or uh, for the DSG gearbox or you need the information just let me know drop me a comment or uh, an email and uh, I'll try to, to see if I have time to to, to help you um, I'm sorry that I'm not able to answer all the emails you guys are sending but my time is very limited and I cannot answer everybody if I have time I will answer and uh, try to help you out if you like my videos, <coughs> try to subscribe, uh, give me a comment. If you want to see some special procedure or, or something that you don't find any other way, write me and I will try to make a video of it. Thanks guys, see you next time.